Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to fix lag in RPCS3 this video is about RPCS3 best setting for performance so let's get started but before starting this video make sure you have a powerful CPU and GPU I show you my PC specification first of all and right click good properties so as you can see I have a processor and uh, installed memory RAM 8 gigabytes so you need more powerful CPU and GPU and more RAM uh, installed in your PC if you want more performance in your RPC S3 now let's start go to configuration option on your RPC S3 and go to CPU so first setting uh, you can see go to CPU and uh, select from here uh, recompiler LLVM and recompiler LLVM and check this option enable SPU load detection guys do not skip any part of this video and over here you can select uh, this one uh, otherwise uh, you can select this one but I recommend this one and select from here too and uh, go to GPU option and select from here Vulkan if you are using OpenGL then please select Vulkan because Vulkan is better than OpenGL and select your GPU device if you have multiple devices uh, in your PC then uh, select a powerful GPU device from here but I have only one device as GPU in my PC and select frame limit off if you are using Vulkan then select this one and uncheck this option vSync and select Q from here and select this one and select default resolution recommended in resolution scale 1 and go to audio and enable it and take it 120 ms and select QWeb otherwise you can select X Audio 2 and go to system network advanced check this option uh, debug console mod and maximum number select uh, unlimited default and go to emulator option and select from here 3 or all and click on apply and save and make sure your settings are same for your game right click and go to create custom configuration whenever you want to play your game then right click and create custom configuration and check your settings for your game in your RPC S3 and over here guys you need this one 200 US okay and apply so as you can see GPU Vulkan and off enabled and emulator and it's done save custom configuration and make sure your RPCS3 is up to date now restart it and click on yes a newer version of RPCS3 is available now click on yes and wait for some time after updating your RPCS3 go to search bar on your windows and type here device manager go to device manager And go to display adapter now as you can see I have only one GPU device right click and go to properties go to drivers and check your driver date and version installed in your PC for your GPU if you have an older version drivers then please update drivers for your GPU and ok and close it and if you have already updated drivers for your GPU then right click and go to control panel for your NVIDIA or AMD and change some settings for your GPU 
to adjust image settings and select performance from here and check it and apply and go to manage 3D settings. And scroll down and open GL rendering GPU select your GPU device and power management mode select maximum performance and texture filtering quality select high performance now click on apply and go to configure surround and select from here your GPU device and click on apply and go to manage 3D settings again and go to program settings now click on add and go to browse now select your RPCS3 application file. Right click and open file location. And select this file. And click on apply. And it's done. Now close it. And for more settings, right click and go to display settings. And scroll down and go to graphic settings now click on browse and select the application file for your rpcs3 and options and high performance and save and it's done and if you want more settings for your pc then type here msconfig Go to system configuration and go to boot options and advanced options and uncheck this option and uncheck this option otherwise you can select big number from here but you can uncheck it and ok and apply and ok now restart your pc after these settings, you can get maximum and more performance for your RPCS3. So I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys. If you like it, then please subscribe and like my this video. Thanks for watching.